I felt your present spirit. And now you shall feel my wrath. Forget the wrath, spirit. I've got a laser. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another cartoon commentary, aka Tune Guys Talk. And joining me once again, it's been a while, it's been a minute, but uh, my uh, fellow Canadian from out east, it's Mate Mylar. How you doing, good brother? Doing good. Good to be here. Happy to see you, Mike. Yo, Joe, so I asked you, which one of these do you want to bang out, and uh, why Satellite Down? Any reason in particular? Well, I was going back and reading some of the synopsis of the different episodes and trying to remember which title goes to, to which, and uh, and when I came across, across this one, uh, this is one of my favorite ones as a kid, and I didn't really uh, come to that realization until I read those synopsis, but there's so many great figures and characters in here. Snake Eyes was my favorite. It doesn't make an appearance, but you got the great uh, Spirit versus Storm Shadow. Uh, excellent foils. Um, Lady J is just stellar in the whole piece. Uh, I, I like the um, the idea of the satellite as the MacGuffin device because we get a little more backstory. It's a little more believable than uh, you know the mass device or, or the weather dominator or something like that. So to me, this took everything that I loved about G.I. Joe put it into like 22 minutes. And so me and my friends just watched this episode over and over again, you know, recorded on the VCR and, and we would recreate these scenes with our toys and in our playtime. And, and yeah, this is just a special one for me. It's a good point. It is kind of like a mini mass device or a mini, one of those five parters. It, it's a, it's a good MacGuffin and they just kind of crammed it yeah. into one episode without making it ridiculous. Like the MacGuffin device episode had to be. <laughs> In order to cram that all in. So before we start here, I just want to let everyone know, check out Mate's Instagram. Link will be down there, there in the show notes. You are the premier, my favorite G.I. Joe wow. photographer. If you were a G.I. Joe, your code name, get this. Tell me if you love it or hate it. All right. Photo bomb. Ah, uh, yeah. Code I love it. Code name photo bomb. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a modern thing, apparently. That's a thing people do in pictures. <laughs> Uh, that, that's better than uh, Sergeant Selfie Stick. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that's the final name. But anyway, uh, check out Mate's Instagram. Uh, beautiful G.I. Joe photography, recreating the box art with the figures. I used to try to do that. I was not as successful as you are. But so amazing to see the box art as well as classic comic covers and stills from the cartoons. You branched out to a bunch of different uh, media as well as uh, a couple of other toy lines other than gi joe but uh, i highly highly recommend checking out your instagram for everyone out there who hasn't or check it out again if you haven't in a while uh satellite down cue it up on your dvd on your whatever you're watching on is it on youtube uh to be cue it up the very beginning here's your countdown it's going to be a countdown from three on play press play everyone ready three two one play. Ah, the sunrise. Or sunset. It's probably sunrise. Kicking Cobra's butt at the crack of dawn. So many iconic scenes in this intro. You can watch this over and over again and see something new every time. I just realized it's Quick Kick and, and Snake Eyes jumping off that Ghost Hawk to, uh, to attack. I love that crazy cobra snake helicarrier thing. What do you think? Future HasLab project? Oh, absolutely. It's got to be. They can reuse the molds for the uh, the flags, um, gun turrets, that sure, little yeah. turret that Destro was arming there. <laughs> this colossal gigantic <laughs> thing and it's gone it's finished yeah, <laughs> we destroyed it. it it doesn't make it past 30 seconds <laughs> ted uh, Pedersen. i was almost expecting uh, our old that friend buzz dixon mm. ron friedman all communication circuits are functional and now we can keep an eye on cobra wherever that snake is what's that nice to see breaker Right off the bat, we get those uh, those eyes. So this is one of the earlier episodes where I don't think we have all the 85 guys in it just yet. Definitely not an 80, 86 episode. No. But uh, yeah, if Spirit is in this and Storm Shadow, then it's 
leaning a little closer towards the first here than the third. Yeah. And uh, I remember this episode for being the one where that great rivalry between Spirit and Storm Shadow that kept popping up went off the rails. This is the one where Storm Shadow just becomes a giant D bag. And he loses <laughs> all the, the honor and the honor among yeah. warriors. And he just he just becomes a prick. And <laughs> he does. Not not so hard to believe he becomes a Joe if you haven't seen this episode. But after this episode, that's a little harder to believe. Like he's a Joe now in '88. <laughs> Awesome. The race is on. Yeah. Very cool, quick, simple setup. The race to the MacGuffin. Cut right to the chase. Stakes are high enough for both sides. It's great how everyone knew how to fly a Sky Striker. <laughs> Bazooka could fly one. Shipwreck could fly one. That's saying something. Yeah. And I don't think there's there's any Rios here. Everyone's got their own their own Sky Striker. I really like the combination. We usually see Dusty with Footloose, but I like the combo of Dusty and Spirit because you have yeah. Spirit, the very spiritual uh, character, very introspective, and you got Dusty, who's just a <laughs> just a good dude, just a happy go lucky guy. I guess Footloose, in his own way, is that type of kind of spiritual dude too but he's he's more like jeff lebowski you know yes dude. yes very and, laid uh, back than shaman on grave Center. i feel uh, your present spirit i meet now again you <laughs> feel my wrath forget the wrath spirit i've got a laser <laughs> and it's a FAMAS. That's that's funny. It's not a typical Joe laser. It's actually his the figure's uh, FAMAS rifle. That's rare that you see the the Joe with his actual. Yeah. Oh, well, so much for that. <laughs> <laughs> Dusty charging Storm Shadow. <laughs> Bless his heart, you moron. <laughs> he. Uh, he gave it a shot. And that's a great zinger right there. Oh, yeah. To finish you off. But, uh, humiliate you again. <laughs> <laughs> totally out of Zelda. Yeah. Cobra's got a big head start. Awe Striker loaded up. Did that I love the Awe Striker. Great vehicle to load up with four figures. Absolutely. I mean, it could hold them, but they look natural on it too, yeah. right? Yeah, that's the thing about a lot of figures with the pegs on the sides. It didn't look quite right uh, to me. I didn't have a Havoc, but I do now, and it just still doesn't look right having figures on the side of a Havoc or on the side of a Snowcat. It's kind of yeah. weird. But the, the striker, Thunder Machine looks thunder ridiculous. Machine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All loaded up. But the Awe Striker almost looks naked unless it has the two figures on the sides of it also hanging on. Exactly. About to do that. Professionally, yes. Personally, I'd like to see her stick around a while longer. I like how much it played on the Flint and Lady J relationship. Yeah, and it was much like Duke and Scarlet, it was a like story instead of a love story. Yeah. They just had so much professional respect for each other they never really uh, i guess in the the pyramid of darkness when they have their little close moment in the bubble but it never gets really schmaltzy yeah because they got a job to do I and mean, that's the important thing you <laughs> 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 guy <laughs> some of the best lines <laughs> The uh, the accent. We don't have time to worry. We've got a mission to complete. Radio for the bridge layer. Man, Flint's voice. That is the voice of a leader. Yes. It's funny. I think he's probably got the strongest voice of all the leader characters. Uh, Hawk is just kind of you know soft spoken, grandfatherly, and yeah. Glad to see you. Well, I'd be gladder if I knew where we were. 
Any idea, Macintosh? And um, the voice actress doing Lady J, great voice, and she's actually done uh, like GPS. You can get a GPS voice in her oh, voice. <laughs> yeah, she, she narrates your GPS. Oh, amazing. Has extraordinary intuition. I would not dismiss it lightly. I love Storm Shadow, Shadow with the Crimson Guards, the red and white juxtaposition where he's just got the red logo on his chest and the, the Crimson Guards have the silver. I mean, it's close enough to red, but they're almost like inversions. This yeah. tool was made recently. Attack! It's nice to see Spirit finally do what he does. He's the tracker. Mm. He can do a little bit of actual tracking on a jungle path. He was my second Joe figure as a kid, so I think that's another reason why I gravitated towards this episode, because we get to see... Well, we get to see him just be awesome. Yeah, it's one of his featured episodes, other than the uh, the mass... Or not the mass device, the... Uh, is it the Pyramid of Darkness? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> this guy is hilarious. I don't remember him having so many good lines in this episode. Usually it's like those are reserved for shipwreck. Yeah. Now back to G.I. Joe. Yeah, this episode moves. Mm. We're, Quick uh, pace. We're, we're only six minutes into this thing. And a lot less friendly. Yeah, it feels like a five-parter condensed into one. Seek those who can aid us. <laughs> oh no! Oh. It's funny looking back at it now, but seeing it as a kid, I remember just being terrified for the Joes in this situation. I was, uh, I would have been especially concerned for spirit because those feet on the on spirit are, are fragile, right? <laughs> <laughs> they break off on the toy. So, but really, selling them as uh, powerful creatures. I guess, yeah, like uh, this, their primitive, unpredictable style, kung fu, karate does no good against it. Sorry, Dusty. I guess I'm worried about Lady J. It's okay. We all are. Bridge layer, another icon. Yeah. They may be primitives, but they make a good grade of rope. Maybe a little too good. This is a sacred place to them. A place of worship. Well, I'm glad it isn't their kitchen. <laughs> this is not an honorable way for a warrior to meet his end. Then it should suit you. Perfectly. He's not going to be an honorable warrior for very long. <laughs> for that insult. I guess maybe he's justified. He feels like they've insulted him, and so they don't deserve any. Why have they painted it like? They don't deserve an honorable death. Anyone we know? Put it this way. That satellite would probably be the size of a cell phone these days. Yeah. Good time to leave. That sounds like the voice actor for Destro. Yeah, it's absolutely Destro. It has to be. It'd be funny if they weren't even trying to hide it. Like, <laughs> clearly the shipwreck voice actor. Ah! Ooh, ooh, ah! <laughs> Banana, yeah. It's nice to see the bridge layer actually put to use. Mm. Desert Trooper in the jungle. Where's your master? Easy, Dusty. It's just a bird. It can't answer you. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> He's a Joe. See that's what Polly no says with that. <laughs> that's, no, that's no bird. That's a G.I. Joe. 
Yeah, Polly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that bird wants us to follow him. Maybe he does. Let's go. Why does that Flint look perfect on a Mirage? It's like his unofficial vehicle. It is. As well as the Tomahawk, I guess he's a he's a helicopter pilot too. I use a hair rim. Storm Shadow, unless we work together, we shall not live no. to resolve another uh, tumultuous partnership. This is really a great follow up to uh, that Pyramid of Darkness. So that episode was left so open ended. Yeah. For that, that issue between them. <laughs> the birds of G.I. Joe are so effective. <laughs> It would have been nice to see Storm Shadow kick some butt for, for a while while he's tied up. Like mm -hmm. he's a ninja. Even if he's tied up, he should be able to still kick a bunch of these guys. Why? A debt of honor. And we shall need all the help we can get. As my tribal shaman would say, let us depart this condition of being. In other words, <laughs> what? <laughs> Follow the path of least resistance. You've got a lot of good uh, little uh, words of wisdom in this one. Yeah. Me and my friends tried to make ladders like that. They are not effective. <laughs> <laughs> you could almost just use one of the sprues. Yeah, from, yeah. Uh, one of the old vehicles. Kids. Yeah. <laughs> Bad guy. Passion for your foes is the Joe team's fatal weakness. Our yeah, that's that's where you cross the line. Yeah. This whole thing of, well, he's a bad guy, but he's cool and he's got his honorable moments. No, you, you can't beat kids up. <laughs> no. no. Especially like kid monkeys. They always knew where to cut to commercial. Will they be crushed by falling <laughs> boulders? It's usually resolved within three seconds. Yeah, from yeah. Back from commercials. Let's just hide in a cave. Oh, no. Flint to the rescue. The Mauler Silver Mirage. All the 85 crew is there. Armadillo, I think I saw. Yeah. Oh. See, like story. Yeah. I don't believe it. There really are primors. Oh, nay. Probably just the heat getting to you. <laughs> so sarcastic. <laughs> now knows where it is. Yeah, well, Cobra's the least of our worries at the moment. I, like, I have no memory of that old man, but he's... <laughs> <laughs> he's great. I'll remember him now. <laughs> Boy, must be the chief's son. It's like he's Shipwreck's dad or something. That's a great correlation. <laughs> I'm sure the chief is voiced by uh, Destro. I'm the yeah. same guy that does Destro. Orto, what's it mean? <laughs> it means thank you. I saved his son's life, so we're friends now. I think. 
Well, good. Because we're going to need friends. He's so serious when he says that. We're going to need friends and happy thoughts. <laughs> Ooh, that doesn't look safe hanging on the side of the thing. <laughs> Can't stand up. Yeah, that's another vehicle that didn't quite look right. It had foot pegs on the sides, but yeah, didn't ever quite look right having a figure hanging on the side. Or the dragonfly, for that matter. Uh, if I remember correctly, this is where Storm Shadow starts to lose his cool. <laughs> Teaching primates to say Gia Yoja. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's out of the park. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. He breaks the sword. Why does Spirit have Storm Shadow's number? The sword was so old. And your code of honor was broken when you deserted us. No man accuses Storm Shadow of that. You least of all. <laughs> I guess since uh, Quick Kick didn't exist yet, and Snake Eyes wasn't really established as a ninja yet. At least the you know the early commando. Yeah, Snake Eyes wasn't really martial artist. They just decided, well, this is the the closest thing to a ninja, I guess. And Orto, thanks. Flint, up there. Oh, he gets to be John Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you bring this satellite back down here, Pilgrim? <laughs> a rare speaking part for a Crimson yeah. Guard. Yeah, must be a Fred. Oh no. Oh, bummer. A fist fight in the cockpit of a fan. <laughs> Talk about cramped quarters. You could barely fit one figure in there. Yeah. You can't even fit a figure <laughs> with the modern one. <laughs> oh, come on. Leave the bird alone. It's like every episode Spirit is in, he's the MVP. Yeah. Was there? I don't know if there was. Uh, I, yeah, I'm not sure. That might have been it. Well, depending on what order you watch the episodes in. This is true. Safely inside these computer chips. It is the primal <laughs> Really? Is that how computers work? And I hope they won't decide to worship it. Do not fear. The prime wards are creatures. They leave them a pack rat or something. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna love this. <laughs> Not entirely sure the comment the writer's trying to oh, no. say here, but I like it no matter what it's going for. TV. How's it getting signal? Yeah. <laughs> That's quite the social commentary for a show that was accused of corrupting kids and being a commercial, a toy commercial. Yeah. There they are smashing TV saying, hey, <laughs> these primitives. 
something's wrong with it. And the PSA is cut off as usual. That's a shame yeah. that they don't include the PSAs like the old days. But I guess we can just throw one in here. What's your favorite Joe PSA? Uh, I like the, um, oh, they don't, don't play with fire. You know, they, they're cooking at home. Uh, blowtorch. Yes, blowtorch. Yeah. The, uh, yeah. Get out, get out. <laughs> <laughs> Pork chop <laughs> sandwiches. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How about you? What's yours? Um, well, with the pork chop sandwiches, I know that one better than the actual official one. But uh, <laughs> favorite PSA, I like the uh, Deep Six one because he's just so cool. Like, um, I think they're about to get electrocuted in the lake. Get out of the lake. There's lightning. Scaredy cat. No, but you could be a dead cat. <laughs> just, <laughs> just with that Charles Bronson voice and just how cool he is. Like, there's literally lightning striking and people could get electrocuted. And he's like... Hey, you know, this could be a bad idea. <laughs> Nothing gets to that dude. Six is just the coolest. He is pure Charles Bronson. He is. And, uh, that's that's one of my favorite ones. Nice. Cool episode. Good one to watch again. I, I browse through some of these when I'm clip hunting, so I see parts of them here and there whenever you know I need something of Storm Shadow or I need something of Spirit. But it's uh, cool to be able to sit down and watch the whole thing from beginning to end in the way that it was intended. Yeah. So what did the satellite do? Uh, Joe launched the satellite to be able to track Cobra. I'm not okay. sure the, the mechanism they were using or, or how that worked. But uh, yeah, that, that's the whole the story. Okay, we've got this new satellite. We'll know exactly where they are. We'll know when, when they deploy. We'll be ready for them. Um, and But Cobra co-ops it. And, yeah, you know, tries to use it to find out where the Joes are, and so uh, that was just a great uh, plot device. I found. I mean, it's something that both sides need. It's plausible. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's not all that necessary. I mean, Cobra is pretty blatant. <laughs> They're no matter what they do, Joe is there within five minutes. It seems so. Yeah, it's uh, it's not a big deal. Or if they've got the the window viper, pretty much the <laughs> exact same thing too. That was a close second. The, uh, the Viper is coming. Um, okay. was, yeah, I, I love that episode. But uh, yeah, no, this, this one's my favorite. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for suggesting that one. Awesome. All right. Well, uh, let's see. Uh, I'm trying to think of how we wrap this up now. I can do an edit here. It's fine. Cool. Um, Anything else? Uh, I can give another plug to your stuff, or oh, uh, I know what to ask you. Yeah. Uh, so uh, before we sign off here, what are you working on next? What can uh, you guys put this on your Instagram? Coming up real soon. I'm hoping to have it done in time for Halloween. I want to do a uh, recreation of the scene of uh, Worlds Without End, where uh, 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 Steeler. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I've got two skeleton hands. I think I can make it two. Make it do with the two. So I'm just going to leave out. Um, I'm going to leave a clutch, just have it be Grunt and Steeler. And so have like those two uh, discover their bodies. Uh, so that's coming up. Uh, I'm working on, I can show you this here. Uh, my missile yeah. oh, deploy. Uh, so I took a vamp and I made a uh, oh, under yes. hawk version yes. of it. So I'm going to redo, uh, well, not redo, I'm going to recreate the box art of the. Thunderhawk, but make it as if it were a G.I. Joe box art. So it's going to be flying in the same position with the uh, the doors open and Matt Tracker inside. I've got a custom o uh, Ara O-ring Matt Tracker, so you'll be able to see him. Uh, cool. The missile will be flying out. The guns will be all shooting. So probably get that one done this weekend. And uh, I've been saying this to myself for the past few weeks, and I've been really busy lately. So I haven't gotten it done, but I'm hoping to do the uh, Tomahawk box art. Just call it Tomahawk Tuesday. For this coming Tuesday. Awesome. So yeah, that's what's coming up. And I still got my fingers crossed someday for you to get a flag to blow up the flag. <laughs> and boom. You have to I've, buy like white fiberglass or something. Like just... <laughs> uh, I've got that. Yeah, I've got all kinds of um, uh, coroplast. Yeah, white coroplast. So yeah, I can make that sort of thing. Uh yeah, uh, I've been keeping my keep my eyes out. I think that's that's pretty much the last thing I need from eighty two to eighty five minus the, the gliders. I'm not really gonna worry about those, but uh, yeah, that's the last thing I need. Just redo that box art, blow that up, and 
and I'll hopefully have a, a coffee table book of all the box art from 82 to 85. Awesome. And personally, I'd like to see a, maybe a, a picture from this episode too. Maybe oh yeah, absolutely. Spirit and Storm Shadow fighting, Freedom getting in there as well. I don't know if you have any gorillas or monkey figures, but uh, get them in there as well. That'd Definitely. All right, everybody, uh, check out Mate Millar on Instagram. Once again, in the show notes down there, follow the link there to see his incredible G.I. Joe and other toy photography. Thanks a lot for listening along. Thank you, Mate, for joining me. Thanks for having me. And Nerdmas Day, everyone. Yo, Joe! Yo, Joe!